Well, there has been another step forward for a new Royal Stadium and renovations at Arrowhead. KMBC 9's Annie Alcock is live at Truman Sports Complex with an update on action taken by Jackson County. Andy. Bria, lawmakers for Jackson County today voted to approve an outline of a deal between the county, the Jackson County Sports Authority, and the two teams called a letter of intent. While all the parties have signed it, there's still work left to do. Seven yes, one no, one X abstention. With that vote, Jackson County lawmakers laid out a blueprint for a finalized agreement with the Chiefs and Royals. My main concern now is just make sure that we continue to negotiate when the team's ready to talk and we can move forward and, and get as much information out of the public as we can. It would be great if Frank was on board. Um, it. Uh, but, you know, we're going to we're going to plow ahead regardless. So. On Saturday, Royals owner John Sherman said the team will announce their site selection before the end of the month. Tony Privatera, the owner of the former Star Printing Press building, one potential site was an interested observer at the legislature's meeting. The Chiefs have also promised to lay out their Arrowhead renovation plans in the next few weeks. The hope is the county, sports authority and two teams will have finalized deals in place before Jackson County voters decide in April whether or not to extend the current three-eighths of a cent sales tax another 40 years to help pay for the plan. Prior to April 2nd, our voters will have a lot more information so they can make the right decision. I believe that it's important to have this done before the vote in April. Now, as we've previously reported, Jackson County Executive Frank White vetoed the language for that April ballot measure. However, the Jackson County Legislature voted to override that veto. Royals owner John Sherman said he is talking to White. However, most of his negotiations so far have been with Jackson County legislators and the Sports Authority. Reporting live at the Truman Sports Complex, Andy Alcock, KMBC 9 News. Thank you, Andy. T during today's meeting, legislators also set money aside for a possible Chiefs parade.